Hey all, I wanted to provide you a quick video on how to route your analog mix from the console back into a track on Pro Tools. So I first want to mention that in Pro Tools you need to create a new stereo audio track. The input of that track will be 23 and 24 and the output will be 31 and 32 just as I have here on these two tracks. You'll notice that I have the track set to input monitoring and armed so that way I can record but I could also monitor it at any time as I want as well. So to actually do that patch <clears throat> what we're looking to do here in the patch bay is to send our mix which is right here all right so you can see it says mix left and mix right so tape one mix left mix right. We're sending that out up here into 23 and 24 record A on both sides. Now the reason we're doing that, again, remember on Pro Tools we assigned the input of our track to 23 and 24. The reason we're using 23 and 24 is because that's the last remaining two inputs that we have to get audio into Pro Tools. There's only 24 inputs in Studio A that we have to get audio in. So we're just using the very last two, 23 and 24. Now, the reason that we're setting it output to out 31 and 32 is so that we can listen to that mix separately from our mix here on the console. So you know, normally we just have the mix button selected. That lets us listen to the Stereo Master Fader. So whatever we play back out of Pro Tools, goes through all of our faders and our processing, to the Stereo Master Fader, we hit the mix button and we can hear it out of our speakers. When we are recording our audio from the console back into Pro Tools, we actually want to listen to what we're recording, right? We want to listen to that last track. So we set that to 31 and 32, and I'm going to hit the tape one button instead. We need to get output 31 and 32 to come into this tape one button so we can listen to it. So the one other patch you need to do is get output 31 and 32. You can see here on our Pro Tools patch bay chart, outputs 25 through 32. So output 31 and 32 are tie line 95 and 96 in the patch bay. So we grab those. I know it's a mess of cables here, but those are going right here. So sure enough, tape one, monitor left and right. So tape one, monitor left and right, that's what allows us over here on the console to be able to hit tape one. So if I hit play, we can see audio coming in on audio one. If I hit the mix button, I'm listening here. If I hit tape one, I'm actually listening to that track. Love me. I'll turn down the speakers, but I can turn up, All right? So then in Pro Tools at any time, I can hit the record button. I'm gonna hit number three in Pro Tools. And you can see down there, I'm actually recording all of this, all of the mix I'm recording into that new track. So any movements that I make, any panning I make, anything I mute, solo, all of that will get recorded in real time. That's then what you would bounce to disc and send to me as your final mix.